What's good, y'all? It's OG Poppy from the Candy Shop. I'm going to go through some uh, supplies you need to get, cleaning supplies, and uh, we'll get into the application on another on another video. Uh, first thing you want to get is a little dust destroyer that you use for your keyboard. You use this to blow out your, not, your, your, your barrels when you're switching from one color to the next. Don't blow with your mouth into a barrel. <laughs> Because you're crossing town, you just blew spit in your barrel, and now you're gonna tattoo somebody. So get you some uh, some spray. Next thing you want to get is some green soap. Uh, about a cap full of this will fill this up. Use distilled water, fill up the rest of the bottle. It helps move the ink. You know when you're tatting the ink, get in your way. Wipe it down with some green soap and move the ink for you. Next thing you want to do for all those people still using antiperspirant, big uh, speed stick. Think about what you're doing. You're take, you're shaving. You're breaking somebody's skin. You're putting a speed stick on it to hold your stencil, and then you're taking that same speed stick and using it on the next person. That shit is nasty. Get you some dead all. Uh, it's real brown, thick. I leave it 100%. I don't mix it with nothing. It holds your stencil, and it disinfects as you go. Has a little bit of a numbing factor to it, so people like that it helps in the with the pain. A1 alcohol, step number one, you're gonna hit the skin with the alcohol. Go on and get you some of that dollar store, buck fifty, whatever. My little secret is after the tattoo's finished, witch hazel. Pour the witch hazel on the skin, hold it for a little while, it brings down the swelling, closes the pores. Actually you can keep on tatting if you take the time, hold the witch hazel on there. You go from there. Some other products, uh, Purell hand sanitizer, as you see, has been used. So, you know, we clean up in here. But it uh, kills everything on your hands as you're moving along, going through different clients. And the lifesaver of it all, real basic Clorox wipes. You can't spray everything with Metacide. Some, you know, your guns, you can't really dunk them in water or in a disinfectant. So wipe it off with the Clorox wipes, your cords, take a Clorox wipe, wipe off your, your uh, foot pedal. Alright, that's all I got right now. We'll go into the application later. I'll holler at you.